This is Mr. Smith, and here's how to use masking in HitFilm 4 Express to help with chroma key effects. Now, this chroma key effect doesn't look that great because my green screen is showing up, or rather, the edge of it is showing up. So now I've got my whiteboard behind there, I've got that edge, it doesn't look nice. There's different ways we can fix this. I've shown how to do this in a previous video about chroma key, but this one we're going to do a different technique called masking. So for that, I'm going to go over to my clip over here. I do have a re-recorded one, but I'm going to pretend I don't. I'm going to right-click on this, and I am going to make a composite shot. It's going to import in the information I need right away. Click OK, and now I've got a composite shot that is the length of my video. And the green screen moves a little bit, which isn't so good, but I should be able to get this to work. So how we use masking is, first I click on the clip down here to make sure it's selected. If it's not selected, I can't do the next fancy thing. And now I am going to use these tools here, the mask tools. So this rectangular mask, which I can pretty much use to draw rectangles, unless I screw up and click and drag. So click on rectangular mask, click and drag. And you notice how now all you see is what was inside the rectangle. It says, OK, well, you're masking everything else off. All you want to see is this part. Uh, not really. So I'm just going to draw a few more rectangles. I don't need to click anywhere else. Just clicking and dragging to add rectangles. And the trick is to not draw so far that I can see the edge of my green screen. And this is going to be a little tricky as I extend outward. Right now, it looks like I'm fine. But if I run through this clip, you can see this one spot where I hold up my hand and it goes off the edge. So I'm going to have to add in just a little more here. If I have a curved area that I want to work on, instead I can use the ellipse mask. I can draw things freehand if I really want to, but these are the tools you'll be using. Uh, you can even do a few other things that I'm not going to get into in this particular video. But what you want to make sure you do is not see the edge of that green screen. My hand goes off the edge right about here. Let's fix that also. Anytime the audience can see part of your subject disappearing, and this part here is tricky because you see my knuckle actually touches the black edge of that green screen, so I've got to be a little careful. Anytime your audience can see the edge of something in your final video, where you're sort of just going off the edge of something, that's when they, sus they stop suspending their disbelief, let's put it that way. Okay, so there we go. I now have this clip here, which is a composite shot. If I go back to my editor, I'm going to get rid of that clip there. I'm going to drag this one in. And the area that I didn't mask in is already showing the layer underneath, which is basically this inkscaped set of mountains. If I go over to Effects and type in Key for Chroma Key, I've got the screen skin key right here. I just drag this over to here. And now my clip is working much better. So that's the basics of masking. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you need more information on chroma keys, see a previous video that's in this playlist. And have fun.